is something that you do. Welcome here. We are up here in Monaco, Haiti, in the middle of nowhere, but there's nothing out here. No electricity, nothing. It's just like it was 500 to 1,000 years ago. And they're beginning to plant some beans. Now, last year was so dry, the beans they planted all died. They're trying, they're not asking for a handout. They're trying to make a garden grow in a garden full of rocks. The Bible teaches us, whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. When you sow love, you will reap love. And God gave me this thought years ago. Love is something you do. Manzana. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Up here in Monaco, Haiti, in the middle of nowhere, uh, it's an area where we're, we're, it's the first time we've ever been here, but we, we came in ahead of time and passed out food tickets for the area to have food, uh, especially the widows. Many, many widows are in this area. And also the, the women, all their husbands have left them and went over to the DR because there's no money, no work here, and they're not, they won't be coming back. We brought them food today, and also we'll be cooking some meals also. Um, and it, it, love is something you do, but uh, they're beginning to plant some beans. Now last year was so dry, the beans they planted all died. The year before that it was all dry, because it's rocky, barren soil here, as you see. And it was dry two years ago. The beans died, they died last year. So they're planting now, they're planting seed now. So I hope this year uh, they will have some rain. But the people up here, the, the women are so sweet. They're so sweet. And we just have women in these lines. We don't, there's hardly no men up here. They, they're all gone. So but anyhow, this is the area of Mon This is our location called Monaco. It's up here in Haiti. Food, they're desperate for food. I mean, they're very desperate. So this is the blessing. God bless you. Join us. The Haitians say deuce. Deuce means sweet and grill. They're so sweet. They're so deuce. Uh, here's Pastor Sufant from Pay Paris. Pay Paris is over on the other mountain. 
the church that we built and the school that we have over there, which David George sponsored. That's the funds here. They have organized and the work of the local pastors. Okay. Woo. Sherry. Well, God bless you. this is the first time we've been in Manaku. First time. Far from pay free. These are sweet, sweet, sweet people. So. We saw them this morning, you know, getting their gardens ready to plant. It's chilly weather up here. It's hot down below, but it's very chilly up here. So the altitude is very high up. I think they plant mostly beans up here. Beans are planting beans now. But today on the program, we're going to be able to give each poor, poor, poor family a box of food and minister to them. So because of you, this is possible. Thank you, partners. Well, here's a bag of that comes out of the box that you see we're passing out. Inside that box is a big bag like this. This bag weighs about 30, well, it is 35 pounds. In here is real rice. That's real rice inside. There's uh, carrots inside. There's peas inside. There's onions inside. There's other vegetables inside. There's soy inside. And each meal here that they eat from the bowl, they have enough uh, protein as much as a chicken breast. And inside of all this other food is, in, is included all kind of minerals and all kind of other ingredients. We've been passing out this food and then you put it, you heat water, and then you cook the food for 20 minutes and boiling, well, they always cook it on an open fire, sticks are under it, and the boiling hot water, you boil it for 20 minutes and it comes out, it's, a, it's, just, uh, it, it's delicious. It's a, a whole entire meal and it's such a blessing. Carlos, can they take this? But anyway, so that's what we give them and we've been passing this out for about 17 years, feed my starving children food. Here's how you can help. This is the very, they take my hat off. It's a windy day out here. Here's how you help. As you know, Haiti's in a crisis for food, a political, economical uh, food crisis. It, it, uh, Haiti uh, needs your prayers. The children need your prayers. For a gift of $16, you can supply 432 meals. That's hot meals. And for a gift of $48, you can supply 1,296 meals. For a gift of $120, you can supply 3,240 meals. And for a gift of $500, you can supply 13,500 meals. For a gift of $1,000, you can supply 27,000 meals. For a gift of $10,000, you can supply an entire 40-foot container of 272,000 meals. I tell you what, when you help and you, you give, what God lays upon your heart to give, you can lay down at bed at night and feel so good. Feel good what you have done to help the poor. Jesus said when you've done it under the one of the least of these, my brethren, we have done it unto Jesus himself, Matthew 25, 40. But giving the food, helping the children, uh, sure and I, we live here. We're not visiting, we live here. About an hour away, a matter of fact, in our orphan's home. It's a joy to give food to the poor. God will bless you more than you can ever imagine. If God has blessed you, bless someone else today. 
please call the number that's on the screen. Please call. Put it on your credit card. We'll speed the process up or go on the line by your computer. Give online. So many do give online or write the check and put it in the mail the old fashioned way and include your prayer request. And we're going to send you back our, our book, our two books. We're going to send back another magnet, a magnet you put in your refrigerator. Uh, it's beautiful in color. I want to tell you what's on the front. And, uh, 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 and it would be a gift just for you. But please help today. And God bless you. Of course, it's tax deductible. We love you. Please help. Please pray. And as soon as all the troubles in Haiti is safe, we want you to come and visit and be out here and help hand out food and bless the poor in the name of the Lord. Love is something you do. Ooh, bell and peel. Ooh, bell. Uh, ooh, Remy Jesse. Ooh, Remy Jesse. Ooh, Remy Jesse. Ooh, Jesse, Remy and peel. I'm with Remy and peel. Ooh, bell. Ah, man. Benny Swallow the Nail. Benny Swallow the Nail. Qui bien ou gain pour que des petits mots sur bas et à l'ego. C'est le bon Dieu. C'est le bon Dieu, mais ma petite nana. You know, in the program, the little woman named Cynthia Lee, Cynthia Lee, she was so poor. Bah, il pense bien à rien pour que des petits mots. Non. Bête, bête, non. And she said. You know, when I want to leave my family, I have nothing to leave my children or my family. But when I have to leave them. She's so poor. I mean, but she's so rich in faith. I mean, rich in faith, very poor, and yet she's rich, rich in faith. Suppose you get the card. This is one hundred dollars. This is the same. Okay. That's it. Okay. This is one hundred twenty. Let me look at you. One hundred twenty. Let me put the number. Cash it. Cash it. Cash it. Come and say. Merci, maman. Merci, maman, chérie. Continue la prière, ok? Mrs. Sherry. Yeah. So, what happened? But one of my donors just, just, you know, just called and said, I feel led to God, please help that lady start a little business. Uh, I gave her $300 US, I told her to go change it into goods. Because one of the other ladies did that, and she she bought all kind of beans and rice and cooking oil, 
and start a little business. Now this woman doesn't have to leave her home to go downtown to do anything. She can go buy the beans and rice and bring it here. She can sell and start her own little supermarket, her own little 7-Eleven, right there in front of her little kai pie, right there in front of her house, take care of her kids. And I told her, I said, remember when God blesses you, you take your 10% out and you, you give it to God, then God will bless you more. So now, this is like a huge miracle for her. Who would ever send anybody to her with $300 US? And, but she had faith in God, and that's what started the whole thing for her. She knew God was gonna do something, but she didn't know what. So today in your life, you may be praying for a miracle. You, you may need a miracle just as much as Madame St. Denis needed one. Maybe a financial miracle or something in your body, but if God did it for her, she's way in the middle of nowhere, God will do it for you too. God bless you. Anytime we see the poor, we're always thinking, God, what do you want us to do? Whatever we do, it's really you are doing it. And you say, I gotta be part of that. Nothing could happen here unless it starts to happen there. Without you, we are nothing. Partners like you make it happen, and we thank God for you every day. I think it's because I trust Bobby and Sherry. Here I know the kids get what you donate. They get. All I know is I have to support. I have to give, and I have to keep giving, and I have to keep giving. And I will give as I am increased to give, and I'm going to give more. We're told to uh, love our neighbor as ourselves. This fulfills that. Well, I think Bobby says it best. He emphasizes um, Psalm 41, and he who gives to the poor will not go without. But he also says love is something you do. That's Bobby and Sherry's motto. And if we're not doing something, then we're really not loving. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending in your gift. We cannot do everything, but together we can do something. On behalf of the hungry children of Haiti, thank you, and may God richly bless you. Okay, may God bless you. Welcome to the mission field here in uh, uh, Monaco in the middle of nowhere. And you may ask, well, why, why did you, Sherry, live in Haiti? Why? Well, if you just look around me, this is the main reason. Once you come to Haiti one time, like Sherry and I did back in 1971 for our first trip, the children will steal your heart and you will never be the same. And it's a joy. Actually, Tomorrow on the program, we're going to show you, we're going to be feeding every child in this village a hot meal. And you see that in the next program. But anyhow, I just want to share with you, you know, all through the Bible, God has a formula. The formula of sowing and reaping. The Bible teaches us, whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. That's so true. What we sow in life, we reap. And the Bible talks about the seed, about the seed time and the harvest time. I heard in this area, for the last two days, three days, the, the, the women, because all the men, have, most all of them, not every one of them, but most of them, but a bunch of old ones are left, have gone to the Dominican Republic and probably never come back. Because everything, things are desperate in Haiti. But the ladies been out planting the seed. They've been bending over, planting the seed all day long in stony ground. And, but they're planting that seed and they're praying for harvest. Because what you sow, you reap. In the last two years, it's been so dry out here that the last two seasons to harvest, everything died, that there was no rain. But what you, 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 you plant, what you sow, you're going to reap. So in this program, this short message from the mission field today of Manuku, Haiti, 
Well, sure now, we just live one hour from here in our orphan's home. The whole thought is, what you sow, you reap. You know, if you want friends, be friendly. You're so friends. If you want finances, if you want God to bless you, sow some money today in the missions, in the food, helping those who have nothing. When we sow finances, God gives us back finances. What we sow, we reap. That's God's law. And so many other areas in what we sow that we reap. And yeah, as you're younger, if you sow in bad health, you don't live a good life, you smoke, you drink, you use drugs, well, you will reap that. What we sow, we reap. But let God use you today. Sow His seed, sow His word, sow His love, and sow His finances. So what we sow, we shall reap. And when you, if you want to be loved, I'm closing now, but if you want to be loved, show love. When you sow love, S-O-W, when you sow love, you will reap love. And God gave me this thought years ago. Love is something you do. Hey, like T-Moon, T-Moon. Now they speak Creole here. I've been trying to teach them English. Creole, hey, talk, talk, upra, upra. Hey, I love you. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. <laughs> love is something you do. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. Woo. Merci mon père. Parce que nous sommes contents. Ça vous fait pour moi. Parce que moi, je vais manger avec ta soupe de goût et que nous allons nous manger. You know, on the program today, you have heard the story of Madame Saintella. You've seen her before on our Love a Child program. She's the lady who's rich in faith. And she said one time, the only thing that I could leave my children is Jesus when I die. Well, you know, God hears the prayer of the widows, all because someone heard about this problem that she had and sent in enough money that she can start herself in a business. And then there's Madame Medina working in that garden so hard, counting two beans meticulously, two little beans going every hole to plant, getting all the weeds up and everything, and digging through the hard ground, mom and daughter. And this woman has many children. And how they're trying, they're trying, they're not asking for a handout. They're trying to make a garden grow in a garden full of rocks. And today, your prayers and your faith can help us continue to feed these families and these children. That's the truth. Planting those beans 
like in the Garden of Rocks. Yes. Because this soil is full of rocks. It's a stony ground. You're planting a seed in a stony ground, dry ground. Please, here's how you can help. For a gift of $16, you can supply 432 meals. And for a gift of $48, you can supply 1,296 meals. And for a gift of $120, you can supply 3,240 meals. And for a gift of $500, you can supply 13,500 meals. And for a gift of $1,000, you can supply 27,000 meals. And for a gift of $10,000, you can supply an entire 40-foot container of 272,000 meals. But the numbers, the toll-free numbers on the screen, please call the number. It will speed the process up. Put it on your credit card. Call. Please go call right now. Help save somebody's life. Most of all of these are widows today. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all women out here. If you notice that, all the men live for the DR. They're not going to come back. And this is our first time here because this is a, I mean, a desperate area. But there's other areas just like this waiting. But please, or just go online and give online. Go to your laptop, your computer, and give online. Or put your check in the mail. The mailing address will also be on the screen. Give and put your our offering in. We want to send you back a special book. Probably the office probably most likely send you two books. Our latest books. Love is something you do and a devotional book with full color pictures every second page. Also the we want to send you a special magnet we got just made up brand new. We're not gonna tell you what's in the front of the magnet. It's in color you can put in the refrigerator. And you can pray for the Haitian children and us every day. But please call the toll-free number or give online or put your check in the mail. And God will bless you in return. For we do it for one of the least of these, my brother. We do it in the Jesus himself. 2540, please. This is a crisis in Haiti. We need your help more than ever. I cannot emphasize it enough. Please. The Haitian people, the Haitian children need your help more than ever. God bless you.